Eutrophication is an enrichment of water by nutrient salts that causes structural changes to the ecosystem, such as increased production of algae and aquatic plants, depletion of fish species, general deterioration of water quality, and other effects that reduce and preclude use. While the negative effects of eutrophication outweigh the positive effects in terms of loss of biodiversity, which is the variety of life in the world or in a particular habitat or ecosystem, one positive effect of eutrophication is the decrease of carbon in the atmosphere by way of photosynthesis. This picture shows mesotrophic or moderately enriched water at the top. It then shows eutrophic or overly enriched water at the bottom. You can see how green the water is at the bottom compared to the top due to increased algae production. This picture shows the eutrophication process and how nutrients enter and leave water, and how heavier items and other organic materials settle in the water. This picture shows children playing in water. This water has lots of algae and is very eutrophic. This water is very unhealthy for the people swimming and bathing in it, and it is also very unhealthy for the people that drink from it. This picture also shows the process of eutrophication and how nitrogen, phosphorus, and sediments from land enter water. It also describes that the sediments from the land block the sunlight from entering the water and decreasing the rate of photosynthesis. Currently, companies around the world are monitoring the chemicals that they put in their products and fertilizers. One action step that we could use to help stop eutrophication would be to just be aware of the chemicals and fertilizers that we are using. Another action step that we can use to stop the level of eutrophication is to create fiscal and economic incentives to encourage nutrient-reducing actions using taxes, fees, subsidies, or environmental markets to incentivize companies to stop eutrophication. A third action step is to raise awareness of eutrophication. Eutrophication and its effects are not well understood by the public or policymakers. Public awareness campaigns, school environmental education programs, and targeted outreach and technical assistance are all important components of raising the profile of eutrophication within communities and building a foundation and support for effective actions to reduce nutrient losses in eutrophication. Eutrophication happens all over the world, but the most prominent places are coasts near cities and places near agricultural runoff. This can have a big effect on all water life because the excess algae can use all the oxygen in the water at night, leaving the other water life to die. Eutrophication is a major concern all over the world because all countries use fertilizer and have oceans, seas, and or rivers where the fertilizer can cause the overgrowth of algae. All water creatures are being affected because the algae is taking away the oxygen in the water at night, so the other organisms die from suffocation because of the lack of oxygen. The algae are being affected because the population is in an exponential growth period. One common misconception about eutrophication is that eutrophication is just water pollution, but it's actually more about the algae growth and how many organisms die from suffocation.